Hey there, welcome to the Marketers Take Flight podcast. I am your host, Lindsay Divin, founder of Marketers Take Flight and the creator of the Proposal Pro course. I am obsessed with helping AEC marketers just like you put order back into the proposal process, create winning strategies, and build the confidence and courage to advance your career. Each week, I will be sharing tangible and tactical advice and inspiring interviews to fly through the proposal turbulence and have your career take off. So let's dive right in. Well, hey there, friend. Thanks for joining me for another episode of this special podcast series, Mod Marketing. I'm so glad that you're with me today because I'm going to talk about something that could be the solution to one of the biggest challenges that I've heard from you when it comes to your content marketing. That big challenge, finding new content ideas and getting the technical content from your subject matter experts. Is that a struggle for you? I see you nodding your head or raising your hand out there. You and I both know that publishing consistent content that appeals to your targeted ideal client is a cornerstone for a successful content marketing program. But getting this new content on a regular basis is a whole nother story. You're busy with proposals and other marketing activities. Your subject matter experts are busy serving clients and delivering projects. Content marketing often gets pushed to the back seat. Well, friend, you're in for a real treat on this special mod marketing episode. I'm going to cover one of my very favorite topics, and that's content repurposing. I love figuring out how to extend or reuse the life of an existing topic or a piece of content. Maybe it's the competitive nature in me that sees this as a challenge. Each time I do this exercise, I challenge myself to figure out just how many different ways that I can use the same piece of content. And I hope after today's episode, you'll be just as as excited as I am to challenge yourself to repurpose your existing content. But before we get started, would you be so kind? Would you invite one of your AEC marketing friends to come hang out with us as well? You can just grab the link to this podcast and put it into a text message and send it to a friend. Say, hey, I thought you might like this as well. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get into today's episode. Let's first talk about what I mean when I say content repurposing. So my not so technical definition of content repurposing is this. Content repurposing is a magical way to use content already created and revitalize it so it works harder for your content marketing and your SEO efforts. When you're repurposing content, you take previously published content and reimagine that one piece of content into different formats. You might also refresh the information of in that content based on maybe industry updates or trends. And then that content could reach new audiences that, or your existing audiences that might have missed it the first time that you published it. I love repurposing content because bottom line, it saves me time. And I know it can save you time too. This is because you don't need to write new content from scratch. You don't have to go back and ask for more content from your subject matter expert. You're just using the same information you've already collected and you're putting new life to it. But let me tell you what content repurposing is not. Content repurposing is not just publishing the same blog article link with the same social media caption on your firm's LinkedIn page once a month or once every other month. That's content promotion, which is okay too. And we talked about content promotion back in episode 84. Content repurposing is when you transform that piece of content into a new medium or republish it with a new focus or a new angle. Okay, so I'm hoping you're starting to see the magic of content repurposing and why I love it so much. Let's dig in to see how you select the content to repurpose and then go through some examples to get you started and brainstorming. And then I'm gonna end today's episode with a challenge for you. So stay with me till the end because it's a very exciting challenge that's actually gonna save you a lot of time. Okay, so first let's start with 
how to select the content to repurpose. A great way to determine what content you want to repurpose is to audit the content you've already published. Look for the content that still resonates with your ideal client, and that is evergreen in nature. And when I mean evergreen, if if the content is too outdated or highly seasonable, it, it you might just have to put in too much effort to repurpose it. So you might just want to skip that piece and go on to the other ones. Choose the content pieces, what I say evergreen, that just kind of, you know, um, are good for the, you know, every year, you know, you maybe you wrote it last year or the year before, but the content still resonates today. Choose the content pieces that you can easily refresh and still appeal or attract to your targeted audience. So identify those content pieces first. Then take a look at your firm's website analytics to find the high-performing content. Find the content that ranks the highest when it comes to page views, average time on page, et cetera, et cetera. The content that meets both the evergreen or not too much effort to repurpose it and the high performance, if they check both those criteria, that should be the content you start with. Now let's shift gears a little bit. You have your content identified. So now let's look at a content repurposing case study so you can start to see this in action. Now let's take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor. Is your firm looking to increase their visibility? Would you like to get your logo and company in front of more than 4,000 industry marketers, business developers, and leaders? How do you do these things? Sponsor the SMPS Southern Regional Conference. We have several opportunities and pricing levels. Our region covers Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. However, with SRC 2023 being hosted in New Orleans, the attendees will be from all over the U.S. We have exclusive opportunities that include free conference registrations, presenting a company video to the 300 to 400 attendees, introducing a keynote, booth space, and so much more. Visit smbs-src.org to check out all the available options. But don't wait, as some have already sold out. We look forward to putting the spotlight on your firm at SRC 2023. A great example of a content repurposing strategy is this series called Driving Growth with Digital Marketing that I created for Full Sail Partners. As a new marketing manager for our Black Box Connector products, I wanted to target other marketing managers who use Dell Tech Vision or Vantage Point and who already have a digital marketing program or who want to create one. So I developed this year-long content series to attract new leads. The campaign began in 2021 with a 10-part blog series. Potential clients could subscribe to the series to get notified when new articles would be published. And using our HubSpot connector, new submissions would be added to the Full Sail Partners Dell Tech Vision CRM to monitor and evaluate. This blog series was then turned into a presentation abstract that was submitted to several marketing-related conferences. It was selected to be presented at three different conferences, where there was a high number of my targeted audience, targeted clients in my audience. Eventually, I'm going to turn this into a webinar for Full Sail Partners and possibly and probably publish it as a guide that you can access via a form on our website. And I've used the same outline and framework for this exact special podcast series, Mod Marketing. Between now and then, different steps will be shared as infographics and other resources to post on social media. This one content topic has been transformed into blog articles, in-person presentation, podcasts, freebies or lead magnets, and dozens upon dozens of social media posts. And all of this content fits in with the goal of positioning myself as a thought leader in the content marketing space for the AEC industry. Okay, so hopefully this is starting to give you some ideas, but let's talk about how you can do something similar at your farm. When you're planning for new content, brainstorm ways in which that piece of content can be repurposed. Some ideas include, and I'm going to go through a long laundry list, so come back to me, listen to this list, and then go back and re-listen with a pen and paper in hand. So content repurposing ideas include... You can convert long blog posts into an ebook or like a listicle or carousel social media series. You can turn your conference presentations into blog articles or webinars. You can build an infographic from a presentation or a blog article. 
You can refresh and republish old blog posts with new relevant information or data or statistics. You can create a podcast or a video series from a previous conference presentation. You can create a frequently asked questions area on your website from previously published blog articles. You can create a checklist freebie based on your firm's project management process. You can pitch existing articles to guest blog on other websites, particularly industry-related websites. You can record existing content such as previously written blog articles or conference presentation and post those either as a video on YouTube or as an audio form using a podcast. You can visualize existing content such as articles, maybe turn them into short video snippets, pull quote graphics, or carousel type posts. You can group existing content to create content pillars or resource hubs. And if you go to FullSailPartners.com on our home on our homepage, you will see that we've done this with different personas. And and if you click on each of those personas from our homepage, it will take you to a resource page just for that persona. And I'll share a link, a direct link to the marketer's persona page over at the show notes for this episode. Another idea is to promote similar content previous published via an email series. You can deliver each piece of content in one email and spread that out through an entire campaign to a targeted segmented list. You can package similar content topics into an ebook or a guide, gather as many similar topics already created, and add an introduction or a point of view to make it feel more like a book. And these are all, you know, and you can title it something like the ultimate guide to, or the only guide to dot, dot, dot. And I know, again, I went through those ideas really quickly. So if you need to go back, hit that rewind button, listen again, pause, take notes. But I hope this gives you some idea of all the different ways that you can use one piece of content. So you're working smarter and you're making that one piece of content stretch as much as possible. Okay, so now that you have some ideas, I'm going to challenge you to take the content repurpose challenge. This is when you turn the insight that I just shared with you and you turn it into action. So here's your challenge. Take one piece of content you've pub- you've just published or that is really performing well. Go back, you know, identify that piece of content and then go back and listen to the list of content repurposing ideas again with that piece of content in mind. Challenge yourself to come up with at least three different ways to repurpose that one piece of content. Why three? I'm not sure. It just seems doable, right? It just seems like a good place to start. Three. But then don't stop there. Go over to the show notes page and comment those three repurposed ideas. That's right. I'm holding you accountable and I want you to make it public. That way it will get done. So head over to the show notes page over at marketerstakeflight.com forward slash 86. And in the comment section at the bottom of that page, comment with the three content repurposed ideas that you came up with. You don't have to tell me the name of the content you know, if you don't feel comfortable, but may, but maybe comments, you know, say something like, quote unquote, I'm going to take the blog post that I wrote in August and we are going to turn it into a presentation abstract for a 2023 conference. That's purpose idea number one. Purpose idea, repurpose idea number two is create a freebie or a checklist for people to download. And then content repurpose idea number three is create a listicle or a carousel type graphic for social media that we will share once per quarter. Hopefully this gives you some concrete steps to reuse, repurpose, reuse the content you already have. And I guarantee, and if you're not already, by the time you do this challenge, you'll be so jazzed up to do this same content repurposing challenge for many of your existing pieces of content as well as I challenge you to do the same exercise when you sit down to create new content. And that's because this strategy of content repurposing makes your marketing more efficient. And who doesn't love more efficiency in their life? Hallelujah. You know, that is my middle name, efficiency. Making the best use of your time and your subject matter experts time makes the entire marketing investments and ROI more efficient. And content repurposing is just one, it's 
like the best way to effectively use previously created content and allows you more time to spend on more marketing efforts. So please, hopefully by now, you are dedicated to making content repurposing a part of your content marketing program. And in the next Mod Marketing Podcast series episode, I'm going to be sharing some basics with getting started with search engine optimization. I broke it down into two episodes. I'll go through how SEO works, how to get started with SEO, and more. But before then, take the content repurposing challenge. Identify at least three ways you'll repurpose one piece of content you've already created, and then share those ideas with me, holding you accountable by leaving me a comment over on the show notes page. And again, that page is over at marketerstakeflight.com forward slash 86. This is super fun and super creative, and it really benefits your entire marketing efforts. Okay, my friend, thank you so much for listening. And until next time, bye for now.